This is my 2000 Toyota Land Cruiser with 323,000 miles. I just purchased this vehicle and this is the video of my first impressions driving this vehicle. I wanted to share it with everyone. Now, the backstory is I had previously a 2000 River Rock Green Mica Toyota Land Cruiser, same color, same year model, which was bought in Southern California when I lived out there for 10 years and I sold it because I was doing a lot of driving to my clients. So I got a Prius instead for my work going to see my clients because I don't want to drive a Land Cruiser in the city all day getting 10 miles per gallon for a 500 a month gas bill. So I sold it for the Prius, made a profit. But when I got back to Nashville, I really, I had missed the Land Cruiser every single day, essentially. I really had missed the Land Cruiser. It's the only vehicle that I actually regret selling. So when this same color, same year model with extra options. This vehicle has a lot of extra options and I'll talk about it in the videos after this video. There's tons of cool features on this that my previous one did not have. Now I've already got updates, upgrades. In the next video I'm gonna post, I upgraded the headlights, fog lights, LED, everything. I also previously, I just bought some wheels. That's going to be up in the next video. I bought new tires. That's going to be coming up in the next video. And then I want to do the suspension. That'll be coming up in another video. So subscribe if you guys like the Land Cruiser and you want to see what I do with this truck. But in this first video, it's just a POV drive. And I love these trucks. That's why I had to get it. It went up for sale locally right down the road. And I just had to pick it up. So if you're into this Land Cruiser stuff, if you don't know anything about them and you're looking for an SUV, go drive a Land Cruiser. Go find a used one, and they're just the best. So let's jump into the video and follow along if you like to stay updated with the latest Mustang and Automotive moves and Land Cruiser Overland build. All right, guys, here we are. This is the 2000 Toyota Land Cruiser. I think it's River Rock Green Mica. This one has 323,000 miles on it. It has 285-75-16s, and those are roughly 33-inch tires, and it does have a lift. A 2-inch, I believe, Ironman, 2.5-inch. First thing I want you to notice is just how easy it is to get into the car. This does have the key. For 2000, that's pretty unique that it does have the key. Just immediately you notice that the vehicle is luxurious the way you feel when you get in the truck let's listen to the way the door shuts i've got a little piece of metal in the door so that it didn't sound the best but let's go again there's just something about it that's just solid and then the way that this seat sets up you set up pretty high oh man it is just so good so the way the seat sets up the leather feels so good you know this is all old wood grain and that was an option i have the original window sticker so the wood grain is optional this uh compass mirror is optional since it has the third row seating it has these rear vents that actually open up the rear quarter windows which is really cool which i can show you so I'll press this button here and this is going to open this window. How cool is that? And then when you shut the door to let the pressure out of the cabin, you have vents here. So, I mean, you're basically in a, uh, one of the coolest trucks ever in my opinion in my for a 2000 year model truck i mean man these are just the best trucks in the world i literally think literally think it's the best truck in the world you have a high and low gearbox you've got this thing listen to what this has got 323,000 miles listen to what starts There's just no noise. That was someone running over the pothole when I first started it. Let's do it from the outside. It's just quiet, man. It's great. 
great. Timing belt was changed at 280. So let's go for a little, little, ah, it's just so good. It's just so good. The, the other thing, you know, obviously is the, I've got stuff in the back, but. So he's got airbags, so you can screw this and air up the back if you want to carry something. And I've got stuff back here, but this is my favorite thing. It's this tailgate. You can sit on this. He's got a drawer system. I took it out because it's squeaking. I haven't had time to adjust it yet. Like I said, I just got this two days ago. Let's go for a ride. I just got new wheels and tires. They're on the way because I don't like those Patagonias. I think the KO2s will be better rod quality. And I'd like to soften up the suspension because it has a Ironman lift and I don't really, I don't really like lifts that are, I just think it's a hair firm. I don't think it needs to be quite so firm for overlanding and for long trips. And it really doesn't need to be that high either. I, I would have been fine with stock ride height, but he lifted it up a little bit and put some 33s. So I'm gonna roll with it. I'm gonna keep that wheel and tire. I'm gonna keep that tire size. And I might replace the springs with something a bit more OEM, so they're softer. Um, I get a little squeaking in the front from the lift, I'm assuming, from the bushings or, or something like that. I'm not sure. I'll have to, um, I'll have to check it out. Uh, he put a stubby antenna on here, and he also um, tinted the windows. Somebody did at some point. But just everything about this feels so lug so high quality it's just quiet it has 323,000 miles you can barely feel the vibration through the steering wheel um you know if you don't care about any of this high quality stuff i don't know i just love 2000 toyotas the 2000 you know range 1990s to 2000s the Japanese cars were just amazing. Listen to this. It's pretty quiet, man. The brakes actually work really good on this, especially compared to the, uh, if you're gonna compare them to the, there's a nice ZL1 1LE, especially if you're gonna compare the brakes to the Toyota Sequoia. So I've got a Toyota Sequoia and the brakes are not that good, especially compared to the Land Cruiser. So the Land Cruiser definitely has better brakes. I would say the only thing that is the a big deal to me is gonna be um, this oil pressure sending unit. I looked it up, they, it shows that it has low oil pressure, but I don't think it actually does. I think that it, it's just sending unit because a lot of people have issues with the sending unit. Uh, if you don't know, this is, I think it's a 235 horsepower engine with 325 torque, something like that, roughly. I'm, I'm 10 or 20 variants there, but that's roughly what the horse, a lot more torque than horsepower. It's got a four speed transmission until 2003, they went to a, a five speed transmission. And then 06 and 07, they went with the VVTI engines, which were like two, 275 horsepower, I think. Um, so it has a great audio system, speakers here, here, all the way around. It's super quiet. I think they even use like thicker glass uh, all the way around, where, so it's more um, sound insulated. And this is all, you have an e-brake, a pull e-brake. So analog, less electronics, more less stuff to break, right? Things that you turn here is always good things that you turn. I love that this is all factory Toyota. And even something cool is in the back, they put in an OEM, or they put in a Toyota optional DVD player from the rear that hangs from the, that hangs from the rear. So, this thing's pretty awesome, honestly. I thought it was a little slow at first, and then I, compared to the Toyota Sequoia, but then I realized I just needed to give it a little bit more gas and it's pretty peppy. It's just so good. It's just all wheel drive. You feel like you're kind of driving a tank, 
even though you know you wouldn't think of a Toyota as a tank but once you sit inside the car it's the fact that the visibility is so good the, the seat position and the visibility is just it's way better than this I can't describe why it's so much better than the Sequoia but now that I own both, I can honestly say that I'd much rather prefer to drive the Land Cruiser. It just, the seating position is better. The feel of everything is better. The way that the, it just has a better feel. It's a better driving experience. A way, way, way better driving experience. And I don't know if it's just because it's in your head that you're driving a Land Cruiser. I don't know. But if you've driven a 100 series Land Cruiser, you're just like, this is great. This is really, really great. So I just recommend going and driving one. If you're like, I've got a client who's, you know, talking about getting something for her husband for Christmas, a big gift, like something to work on, like a Toyota Land Cruiser. And I told her, you know, honestly, if you get a Toyota Land Cruiser, there's probably not going to be that much stuff to work on and to fix them up unless it's been neglected for a long time. So these cars really don't require a lot of maintenance you know you have to change the on this on this motor you have to change the timing belt once a 80 80 000 miles or so i mean how long does it take you to go 80 000 miles and then from that it's just a belt it's a belt and then it's a water pump and then that's what you know that's essentially what it is timing belt and water pump is what you change every 80 000 miles other than that you can pretty much just change the oil you know i heard some people with the wheel bearing some people with the drive shaft but you know the downsides to look this I, I felt totally comfortable buying this with 300 and i think it had 322 when i bought it now it's got 323 on it i literally just want to go drive this thing around i'm gonna go drive it an hour out into the woods now i'm gonna drive an hour back i just enjoy driving it there's just something about it that makes it so fun to just drive so I would just, if you're thinking about it, if you're looking for an overland vehicle and you like high quality, you like old Japanese, I highly recommend you go drive a 100 series and see what you like it. 4X Overland, the, the South American, uh, South um, African gentleman who's maybe like i guess he's in his 50s now maybe early 60s that does these overland has an overland youtube channel his favorite one of his favorite is this 100 series i think they still i don't know if they call them 105s over there but anyways this basically this this body style uh and there's a there's a lot of people just love them to death and probably the 80 series is awesome but the problem with the 80 series is uh in america the i don't know that it's straight axles and the gas mileage and, and stuff like this. So this this V8 is more modern. It makes good power. It's just more reliable. It, you know, it's not. I I would suspect that this there's these this motor this V8 will go a million. There's been Tundras that have gone a million miles in this motor. There's plenty of Land Cruisers that go over five hundred thousand. So with three hundred twenty two thousand miles on this thing, I go another ten years, um, twenty years maybe even on this without changing the the motor or transmission. So it's just a forever car you i sold my 2000 essentially what happened guys is i sold my 2000 and made a little bit of a profit i had a 2000 land cruiser about four years ago and i took it out to joshua tree i did a bunch of fun things with it and then i sold it because i, I didn't want to drive it to go see i was driving all the time and i was burning 500 dollars in gas every month to go see my clients so i bought a toyota prius to save 300 dollars a month in gas and i sold the land cruiser and made a profit but I regret that's the only vehicle that I'd ever regret selling was the Land Cruiser, which is really fun. Um, what's another really fun fact to think about is that the Toyota Land Cruiser is the vehicle with the highest term of ownership, meaning if you buy the Toyota Land Cruiser and you're the original owner, the average lifespan of someone who the average term that someone owns the original owner owns the vehicle is the longest of all vehicles meaning that they will keep the toyota land cruiser for 10 years and four months or something like that so the original owners buy the land cruisers and keep them on average for 10 years which is really cool because most people take care of these trucks so if you can find an unmodified toyota land cruiser with all the records you're likely to 
to have a very reliable car that will go another 10 years without barely any maintenance. There's not much that you have to do to these. So I fully expect that I could take this car with 323,000 miles on it and drive all over the country with just changing the oil for, I mean, literally. I've done that. I took my other Land Cruiser and I drove it from California to Tennessee and back to California. Had no issues. So I had a fan clutch that went out, but the, the, the fail safe proof on the fan clutch is that it keeps spinning. So there wasn't actually a problem. It was just someone did not replace the fan clutch when they did the timing belt, you know, five years prior or whatever. So um, the only other thing is like the heater tees. There's some little plastic tees in the back behind the motor close to the radiator and they deteriorate over so many years. So just get some, just do the heater tee replacement. I, I've got another video of that already on the channel from a previous Land Cruiser. And I'm gonna go drive this out into the country and just enjoy my Saturday. I'm gonna go get some coffee and enjoy this new to me 323,000 mile Toyota Land Cruiser and just go for a ride. So thanks for watching guys and I appreciate everyone's support over the years for the channel and I intend to bring you guys more Land Cruiser videos. I Like I said, I ordered these F, I think they're called F5. They're just these black kind of wheel. It's a 16 by eight with a high offset or a low offset. And I bought some KO2 tires. And then I also bought some wind visors and some halogen bulbs for the headlights and fog lights and the license plate. So I'm gonna do videos on that also. And so I've got plans for this. So if you guys are like into Land Cruisers as well as Mustangs, then just follow along and uh, hope to get you some more content. We'll go take this thing off-roading in Tennessee, take it through some mud, because there's mud here instead of the sand like in California. And um, yeah, guys, thanks for watching and I'll catch you in the next video. I'll never make it out, yeah. Please tell me I'm a bad, never good, till my head full of...